In the newspapers, we've been reading a lot about this immigration here, and some cities are going sanctuary for allegedly illegal immigrants, etc. I'm just concerned if we're, if we're, I just hope, hope I should say, we do not get involved in policing what the feds should be doing, and that our expense. Our cops are busy enough protecting us here, and I don't think our police department should be involved in assisting the feds. Well, police officers think they all this to uphold all rules, federal, state, and municipal. You know, but I don't think we should expel them. Should you hear what I heard? You said it's not out of place. That's all I'm saying. I'm just giving you my opinion, which I don't think. Well, you can give your opinion, and I'm telling you what the law, what the oath of office is. It's not fair all the time. Um, just a thing on touching on that uh, Cherry Street project. Um, <coughs> based on the tax abatement, what I was looking at, thinking, is if, the, if you want to give the developer a break, that's fine. But since no children are living in apartments, so so called. For every child that does move in, tell them to give us an extra sixteen thousand dollars, and you can have his tax abatement. It's a fair deal. Because I made a comment, and you, I was criticized. I said, "What if, if fifty children are living in here times sixteen thousand dollars? You're exceeding it." The Board of Education and our children are getting shortchanged here, like Mr. Francantoni said. The bottom line is, we're going to pay for it anyway. So why give the guy a break? Now, the other question I have: What's the name? I keep saying, everybody keeps saying it's the developer. What's the developer's name? I don't even know. Dennis McNeil. Do you know what the individual's name is? The individual's name is McNeil. Dennis McNeil. Dennis McNeil. And what was the other one that gave the tax rate on the 520 Franklin Avenue? He's talking about Soho. Soho, yeah. Mr. Pistakis. I'm a reality. I'm a reality. Very, very interesting. Because I looked up your election report, Mayor. You took a thousand dollar donation by Alma Realty. That's right. Okay. Well, I report it. I'm not reporting anything. I'm just telling you. No, he just so you know, you should have voted on it. That's all I'm telling you. Yeah. And I didn't Alma Realty. I didn't take a thousand from Solomon Dweck. Yeah. A planned 1700 <laughs> was put on hold you, from yeah, Alma. I didn't take, I didn't take money from Solomon Dweck. In 2015, excuse me, I got the floor here. In 2015, no, 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 no. I the floor. I got, I, I got my five minutes. I'm squeezing my five minutes. Yeah, I got the floor. In 2015, Con Edison found that eight buildings in the Bronx, run by Alma, had illegal gas hookups. Should we should we enforce that law? Yep. Well, shouldn't take it the money. 